Welcome to the Hellerman Titan Academy, the workshop for the professionals. I'm Barry. And I'm Mark. Today's question is around uh, fluid resistant tubing. We've been asked to demonstrate um, our fluid resistant tubing, SE28. So, Barry, I will do this demonstration for okay. this. Uh, for this video, right, what do we we've need got to do some first? cable here. Okay. So what we need to do is to get rid of all the grease off the cable, off people's hands and things like that. So if you could pass me a, an alcohol wipe, please, Barry. We did that in our previous video on HMTA, didn't we? We did that yes. in our previous video on HMT uh, 200A. It's yeah. really important to get rid of all the grease. It's a very important part of the process. Yeah. And if you haven't seen that video, click on the link below. How do we know it's the right size tubing, Mark? We know it's the right size tubing, Barry, because uh, we'll actually measure the ID of the cable okay. and then we'll get the tubing. This tubing actually shrinks. It's got a shrink ratio of 2 to 1 or SE28. So this falls into our 80-20 rule? It does fall into the 80-20 rule. So the 80-20 rule uh, means that we have a tubing that will shrink just slightly more than the ID you want. So if you've got a, tube, a, a cable that is 10 mil, really you want a tubing that will shrink down to about 8 mil. So it conforms a nice grip on the cable. Right, Barry, could you get me stand, please? Yes. For this demonstration, we do need a stand. So we don't talk, we do. All right, so if you put that in there. Captured. Take your time, Mark. Thank you, Barry. So it's securely in there. Now what I actually need is some uh, protective wear. So I have some goggles. Why do you need protective wear, Mark? Barry, we're going to use a hot gun. Uh, the hot gun operates at about 250 degrees Celsius, so it just gets rather, rather hot. Uh, and it can be a little bit dangerous if you don't know what you're doing. Mm -hmm. So yeah. we have our hot gun, our Hellman Titan hot gun. Uh, we have uh, a nozzle, a deflector nozzle. Uh, top which tip. we also use. This when you shrink tubing, tip. use a deflector nozzle. The reason we use the deflector nozzle, as I'll just demonstrate it without the deflector nozzle, would be trying to shrink around like that. With the deflector nozzle, we can put it on and then we can start to shrink. So it radiates the heat all the way around it the tubing. It does radiate the heat all around the tubing, Barry. Do we, we'll do we have these in our range? We have these in our range, yes. Uh, and you can also end up buy them separately. Now I'm starting in the middle, Barry. Have you noticed starting in the middle? I have noticed more, yes. So this is uh, a way of making sure that your tubing is positioned very well on the cable. Having a deflection nozzle also means you actually sink a lot quicker onto your cable. So what wall thickness is this tubing, Mark? This wall thickness, Barry, it's a medium wall thickness. Mm -hmm. Uh, a thin wall thickness tubing would sink even quicker. So this is a specified tubing, diesel resistant, fluid this resistant? This is a VG specified tubing, ah. so it is a specified tubing. So there's a, there's a top tip, VG tubing always has markings on it every 25 millimetres. You've done a very good job of that Mark. Thank you Barry. So how are we going to demonstrate the fluid resistance for the customers and the people watching the video. Well, Barry, if we get rid of the stand, uh, I'll let you know how we're going to demonstrate this. I can't wait. Right, Barry, I have over on the bench there a tub full of diesel. Excellent. Straight out of your car. So I'm, like to go I'm walking it, home today. You're walking home today. Okay. What are we going to do with this, Mark? We are going to prove our tubing, Barry. So, this is our cable with our diesel resistant tubing on it. And we don't promise, we prove. So what does that prove? That proves, Barry, that our tubing is diesel resistant. It can stay in there. There'll be no deterioration of the tubing in there. It won't swell, it won't come off. 
and it can stay there. It's impervious to diesel. So, n so tubing that isn't fluid resistant would swell? Tubing that isn't fluid resistant would swell. So this is our SE28 tubing. Excellent. Well done. Thank you, Barry. So if you liked our little demonstration today, please like us and subscribe to our channel. I'm Barry. And I'm Mark. And we'll see you again soon. Bye. <laughs>